Okay, so I'm going to make a series of videos on parabolas that are going to start uh, with a novice understanding and it's going to go to uh, advanced. <clears throat> novice to advanced. And um, so basically, if you don't really know anything about parabolas, you can watch this video. And if you keep watching all the videos all the way through this series, you're gonna end up knowing more about parabolas than your high school math teacher is and probably more than a lot of people know about parabolas. And then I'm gonna do something similar with ellipses. And I'm not gonna say how many videos I've got because I'm not gonna know until I've got them all made. Okay, so to start off with, the way that I want to start is I wanna start with the definition of a parabola. Because if you start with definitions, it actually makes things uh, a lot simpler than if you just dive right into parabola problems. So the definition of a parabola is the set of all points equally distant from a fixed point and a fixed line. Okay, the set of all points equally distanced from a fixed point and a fixed line. So I want to build that. I want to show you how to build it so you guys can uh, basically have what I've got. Um, the key tool that I have here is I've got a T-square ruler, so it's got a little extra bit on there so that I can make it slide along the edge of the board. And then I've got a piece of string, and I've made the piece of string sort of very carefully constructed so that it can lie down the edge of the ruler. And when it lies down the edge of the ruler, it's as long as the ruler it comes right back down to zero, and I can flip it around so I can have it slide down the other side of the ruler as well. So that's sort of the critical piece of technology that you need for parabolas. And the technology you need for ellipses is actually a lot simpler. Okay, so now I've got a piece of paper. And what I want on this piece of paper is I want a line. Well, rather than drawing a line on my piece of paper, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold a line into my piece of paper. So I just take a little strip and I fold that off. And now I'm going to take that line and I'm going to put it right against the edge of my paper or edge of my um, board, rather like that. So I've got it right on the edge of my board. And now what I want to do is I want to tape it on there because this is already pretty difficult. This is not going to be one of the cleanest drawings that I've ever made. Parabolas are kind of difficult to do because there's a lot of sliding around and there's a lot of sort of moving parts that are kind of hard to keep track of. Okay, so fixed line. Well, where is my fixed line in this? Well, my fixed line is right here, the edge of the board. Fixed point. Well, how am I going to come up with a fixed point? Well, what I'm going to do is I, there's, where's my hole was? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screw and I'm going to screw into a board. And so this is why I'm doing it on a board and not doing it on a table because I don't mind if I put a screw hole in a board. I would mind if I put a screw hole on a table. So now, that's not gonna move. So there's a fixed point, and there's a fixed line. And then I've got this piece of technology here that's going to allow me to find all the points equal distant. Because if you look at this, and this is where it's going to get tricky. 
Right now, I am five centimeters. That point right there is five centimeters from the edge as measured along the ruler. But because this is the same length as, because the, the string is the same length as the ruler, then if I take this and loop it around over here, then that point is also five centimeters from my screw. So now I've got to be really careful. This is where it gets really difficult and I'm probably going to mess up. So you'll just have, to, I apologize in advance. Okay, so I got to concentrate here. Because I got to make sure that everything is tight all the way through and everything's sliding. Okay, and once I'm there, I have to flip it around and I have to try to come back the other way. Okay, and so that's not bad. So there is my parabola. So that's my parabola. And now I want to sort of discuss some parts of the parabola that you're going to find in your textbook. So I want to pull it up. And detach it from the table. Okay, so now we have a few things. We have our fixed line. And that fixed line has a name. We're going to call that fixed line the directrix. So funky name for the fixed line is the directrix. Then we've got here, we've got our fixed point. And we're going to call that fixed point the focus. So we've got our focus, we've got our directrix. Now, going back down to here, I'm going to make another line here that goes straight from the shortest distance let's continue that out and we're going to call that line our axis of symmetry. So that's our axis of symmetry focus. Then we've also got this point right here. That's going to be our vertex. And then 
we're going to continue. I'm going to make another line here. I'm going to line this up like this. So get it square. I'm going to make another line here. That's going to go like here. I'm going to call that my lattice rectum. <clears throat> okay, now, so that's basically the, the tour of the parabola. So you can see how I made it. And I've got a fixed line, a fixed point, and the set of all points equal distant between the fixed line and the fixed point. And that's my parabola. This shortest, so this here, my axis of symmetry, is perpendicular to the directrix and passes through the focus. Then my vertex is the point where the parabola crosses the axis of symmetry. And my lattice rectum, I should probably I should probably, let's just do it like this. It basically makes a square. So this is a square and that's a square. Okay, so now if I look at my uh, equation for a parabola there's a bunch of different equations but the one that I'm going to give you is I'm going to give you y minus k I'm going to do 4p let's do it that way Four p y minus k is equal to x minus h squared. So that's what I want to give you. Okay, so what that means is here the vertex has coordinates h k. So in this case I don't have a graph I don't have a graph paper I'm just doing it on a, a sheet of paper. So but this is the x coordinate of the vertex and the y coordinate of the vertex is h and k. Those go in like that. Now what's this p? This distance here is p. So the distance from the vertex P is the distance from the vertex to the focus. Well, but it's also, that's also P. And so if you think about it, this is 2P, and that distance there is going to be 4P. <clears throat> okay, so there's your rundown on the parabolas, and then I think I'm going to go uh, in a different direction on my next video.